Welcome back to the Nerdyverse, I'm Danny. I'm Chang. Here we are then, more Mashoka Tensei. We're back for season two, episode 19, called Desert Journey. So we're going to begin our journey now, is that the plan? Indeed. Well, we had the insane turning point last, well, I guess two weeks ago, right? Oh, yeah. Where, I yeah, it was a two-parter, wasn't it? Because we found out that Rudius was going to have a kid and that his family was in trouble. So eventually he came to the decision that he was going to go and try and find his family and save them. The question is, yeah. is he going to get there on time? Because they did mention that the journey is going to take, like, was it like a year or two to get there? And then like probably another year to get back. Yeah, so he's going to miss a lot of his child's life if he does that. Yeah, the other mental thing is this is the first time he's going against Man God or whatever. Yeah, yeah, first time he's going Indeed. against his. There is that. His he, advice, which, like you said, every t every other time he's gone with the advice, it's gone mm. good and gone to the way that Man God said it would go. Yeah, uh, and this is the first time he's got against it. Yeah, and the Man God said, if you did go to this continent, you would regret it. So, is it going to come true? What's going to happen? I guess we'll see. Are you ready to jump in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one. One. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> so, they have a two-man party. Yeah, at least that would be good. I think she needs to be open with Cliff anyway. Yeah. It's crazy how much Rudy's actually grown as a person as well. Oh yeah, he's not going to be able to help, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. Oh no. Is this going to cause her to snap? She, she, seems, does, she, she does not look uh, particularly good about that. Indeed. Is she going to go with him? That would be interesting if she did. <laughs> because, like, she can't just still work on this stuff out and about, I don't know. Surprise! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? They could just teleport there. What? So all this time... <laughs> Could you imagine if, she, if he didn't say goodbye to her? Like, and he had to I know, right? Years, so. <laughs> so, yeah, this gives him a better chance now. Now he's only going to be away for a month. Or two. Yeah, so how's he going to explain this one to everybody? Is he just going to say, oh, I got lucky or something like that? No. Indeed. Okay, here's, here's the uh, conversation about it. Is he going to explain that he won't be gone for long, though? Oh, here we go, right. Indeed. <laughs> and oh, yeah, don't tell anybody else about it. Like, okay. I mean, to be fair, he can't not tell his family. Uh, can he, I, I guess the teleportation is giving her a bit of PTSD from the teleportation incident. Good point, yeah. I guess, like, the important thing is, though, it just shows how important this season was. Because, like, if you didn't 
get to know these people, like get to know Nanahoshi and help her, he wouldn't have come to this, like get this teleportation True. circle. Yeah. Like everything that's be... happened has like added up to this. Yeah, and it means that they he'll be able to get to back over there in time. Well, still might be too late, but Yeah, exactly. If if he had to take a year to get there, it whatever happens will probably would be way too late, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Way to ruin the moment. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm, what's going on with Buddy? Yeah, what, has Buddy gone off somewhere else or something? Yeah, I'm not sure where he went. Yes, Cliff. Absolute Chad. This is where Rudy needs to say to Cliff, don't worry, Cliff, I've got a saw in another way. Cliff is just like, I'm your granddad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> There's actually stakes now, though, isn't it? Like, if oh, he yeah, fails, like, you know, he's got an entire family back here. He's actually got a reason to live now. Why do I feel like he's going to see Eris soon? That would be interesting if he did. Well, the main reunion that we know that we're going to get is he's going to finally get a reunion with Roxy. Yes, good point. Because she is with uh, Paul's party. Well, that's if Paul pa Paul's party is still alive by the time he gets there. Well, that would be absolutely devastating for him if uh, he goes there and everyone's dead, including Roxy. Why have these two got a massive horse and he's got an absolutely tiny one? Well, it did look like that anyway. No. <laughs> Who is the random dude? I don't know. Like, is he their squire or something? Squire, bring me my... <laughs> oh, I think he. they hired the horses, so when they got there, they just gave oh, him the right. horses to take back. Right, here we go then. Oh, great. Yeah, let's go deeper in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, how's this going to go? I think everybody oh, was else. she affected by it as well? Or was that another incident that she was affected by? They're going to teleport and then one of them's going to have a female head and a male body and then... <laughs> I mean, it looks like they're okay, so... Indeed. They seem okay. Wait, what? Yeah, just checking that they can use the portal there and back. Yeah, but why is she gone on her own? Well, she just explained it. She didn't want to risk Rudy. Yeah, this is not good. Indeed. Why is it taking so long? Oh. Hold a minute. That's oh. Allstead's robe, isn't it? Yeah. That's what he was wearing. Uh, okay, so it's back, back so it, it works. So there's a bit of a time delay, it seems. Yeah. Oh, God, how much of a time delay? It didn't seem too long. It was a f probably like an hour, maybe, or something. Uh, well, this is going to be fun. 
Dude. I guess I'd explain why that was a wardrobe with outfits and stuff. Different regions would have different weather and temperature, wouldn't it? It's not a random house. Oh god, what is he doing? What is he doing? Rudy! What was that like pink smoke that appeared? Oh dear lord. Well that's suspicious. <laughs> Rudy, what are you doing? Rudy? Blast it with your magic first, then go over. Indeed. I'm gonna say, this will be a trap, you moron. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> yep. We finally get to actually see Alan and Lee's fight. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, he's been completely enchanted. <laughs> It's actually pretty cool to see them actually fight together. She's kind of like a tank, isn't she? <laughs> While yeah. he's just like the DPS in the back. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> I guess it's kind of good that they're montaging through quite a lot of this journey. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to see all of it, do you? True. Just the odd, odd, like, building of their relationship is all we need to see, really. Yeah, so... Yeah, the curse is still, still in effect, then. Is she even going to be able to last them with her curse? Well, she, she just said that she went into town to sleep with someone to sort of take the edge oh, off the curse. No. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> Rock lift. How the hell are they wearing so many layers? Oh shit! Ooh. Jeez, Christ, that was close. Griffins. Ah, uh, one each. Indeed. This should be easy, right? We saw him take out a freaking dragon at the beginning of the season. I was going to say. <laughs> Depends what the level of the area is, mate. If you set up oh. Jesus. Okay, never mind. Oh, nice. Oh, my Jesus. God. <laughs> He's literally just turned those rock cannons into just, like, 50 cow bullets, hasn't he? <laughs> that doesn't look cooked. <laughs> Oh, 
女の子なんだからもっといろいろ気をつけてください It's crazy that they used to be adventurous together, wasn't it? Like poor Elmilie's Zenith, Gisla, Gilain, Geese, and uh, is it Talhand? That'd have been a cool unit to see, wouldn't it? I know, right? <laughs> When you think about it, they had some proper powerhouses there. Did fucking Paul end up sleeping with fucking Emily? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sounds like it. Fucking Paul. <laughs> is, is there anyone in the party he didn't sleep with? Oh, that's the thing. She hasn't actually had a reunion with Paul, has she? No. Because she split off from uh, Tao Hand and Roxy. Oh, they're finally here already. Jesus, look at this place. Wait, it's pretty. Are they under the uh, Titan? Oh, what? It's over already? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> well, at least they've arrived, though. Take it, it, At least they've only used one episode to get us from where we were to where we are, because that's good. Indeed, um, indeed. So, I'm, so I, yeah, I, am, I am excited to see where it's going to go now. It's interesting to see their relationship in this episode. Who, uh, Rudy and Ellen Lees? Yeah, and uh, Rudy still is a desperate. Um, yeah. Well, that wasn't his fault, to be fair. Like the siren or whatever it was, like had enchanted him with the spell. That's why he needed to use detoxification magic on him to sort of get rid of the horniness. Yeah. It still. was like an. It was like a charm spell, basically. What that happened to him? That's why he was acting like kind of off. Yeah. I think because. I'm not sure if it's because she's a woman that it didn't affect her, but maybe because yeah. if if you notice, there was like a pink sort of like aroma floating around like before it happened. True, that's what it was. I'll give her the benefit of doubt well, this once, but <laughs> indeed, indeed. But yeah, I, th I think it was nice that they did all of this bridging between arcs like in one episode. The next episode is into the labyrinth, so it seems next episode we're literally jumping straight into the arc. So yeah, they've they've got over the bore. I get I guess boring part. Even though I didn't think the episode was that boring, I mean they still covered quite a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, um, it was really nice to see that all the connections he's made are like sort of, you know, it's all working out now. Like if he never took the time to you know go to the university, get to know people, get to know um, what's her name, and help her with all the summoning stuff. She wouldn't have ever given him, like, these teleportation circles. He wouldn't have been able to get here in, like, so little time compared to, like, you know, the, what was it, like, a year either way before, like. True. Yeah, so everything that's happened has, like, really helped him in, like, in the long run. So it's nice to see, like, all those sort of interactions actually, you know, resulted in something. But, yeah, it is. yeah I, I thought it was a good episode. Um it was a bit of a slow one, but it's bridging the arcs, and I think from next episode onwards, shit is absolutely just going to start to get insane, so I'm very excited for it, and we're hopefully also going to get the reunion of uh, Roxy and Rudy, who haven't met each other since literally season one, when they left each other. Mm. I'm, I'm excited for that, that'll be an interesting one, I think. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be fascinating to see how that's going to go down. Indeed, indeed. Any other yeah. thoughts from you? No, no, it's, it's a good episode. I'm excited for um, next week's one, to be honest, now. Uh, let's see where, what's going to happen next. Cool. Cool, well. right. Well, let us know, everybody, in the comments what you thought about the episode, and we'll see you again for the next one. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.